Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at the colors involved in acid-base reactions, especially the indicators, as well as redox reactions. I've already done one on the colors of salts. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. You can go to that after the video. Let's start with the colors involved in acid-base reactions. There are many indicators that we can use to test whether a substance is acidic or it is alkaline or basic. And one of the things that we use is the universal indicator. For the universal indicator, the neutral color is green. And as we become more and more alkaline, the color becomes more and more blue until the most alkaline pH is violet, purplish. And then on the other side, on the acidic side, as we become more and more acidic, we first go through yellow, orange, and finally, the most acidic side will be red. This is for the universal indicator. Let's look at a more common one that is used in labs, and that is the litmus paper. So we have two types of litmus paper, the red litmus paper and the blue litmus paper. For the red litmus paper, it is red in the neutral solution. It is red on its own. But if we dip it into an acidic solution, it will stay red. There will be no change. And so the red litmus paper is only used to detect alkaline. Because in an alkaline solution, it turns blue. The blue litmus paper in the neutral state is blue. And in alkali solution, it stays blue. It doesn't change. And therefore, the blue litmus paper is used to detect acids. In acids, it turns red. Besides the litmus paper, there are also a few solutions that we can use to test whether a substance is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. And they are, if you remember from the litmus paper, whenever a solution is acidic, the final color is always red. Whenever the solution is alkaline, the final color is always blue. And this is the theme carried out with litmus solution as well. Litmus solution is red when it is an acidic solution, it is blue when it's an alkali solution, and purple, which is a mixture of red and blue, when in neutral solution. Then we have methyl orange solution. Methyl orange is yellow both in neutral and alkaline solution, and therefore it can only be used to detect acidic solutions where it turns red. You will notice that most acidic solutions, the final color of the indicator is red. For the phenolphthalein indicator, acidic and neutral solutions will be colorless, whereas for alkaline solutions, it is pink. And therefore, phenolphthalein cannot be used to detect acidic solutions. It can only be used to detect alkaline solutions. Let's take a look at redox reactions, that is, reduction reactions and oxidation reactions. There are many colors that are involved in redox chemistry. Redox reactions often involve the change of ion 2 ion to ion 3 ion and vice versa. So let's look at the colors of these two ions first. Ion 2 ion is green color in aqueous solution. Ion 3 ion is brown color in aqueous solution. And now we look at the oxidizing agents. These are the most common oxidizing agents used. Acidified potassium manganate 7 solution is purple color. And once it has been reduced, it acts as an oxidizing agent. Therefore, it itself is reduced. Once it is reduced, it is reduced to manganese 2 ion, which is colorless. And then we have potassium dichromate 6 solution. Potassium dichromate 6 solution is an orange color. When it is reduced, it is reduced to chromium 3 ion. And chromium 3 ion is a green color. And the same case goes to acidified potassium chromate 6, K2CrO4. It is the CrO4 2 minus, the chromate 6 ion that has the color. And the color of the chromate 6 ion is yellow. And when it is reduced, it is also reduced to chromium-3. Therefore, it also becomes green color. These are common color changes in chemistry, guys. If you'd like to watch a video on the colors of salts, then do watch the video in the description. I've left the link in the description below. If you'd like me to cover any more topics, do let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you gain anything from this video, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Do subscribe because I'll be producing at least one a week if you enjoy videos like this. See you guys in the next one.